It's actually really funny. Coach Holden, Coach Peden at the time, when they were recruiting me, I told him up front, I'm like, I don't, I don't know how I feel about coming here. I thought it was gonna be straight farms and cows. Took the visit up here, man, loved it and, and committed soon after. But that first winter definitely got me, man. We'd be laughing at him because he'd be like, bro, it's cold outside. He'd be coming in with a big, big coat, like a sweatshirt, and we'd just be laughing at him because obviously he's used to this, but you know, he's used to also 80 degrees all year. Grew up in Honolulu, Hawaii. This is exactly how you think it is paradise. Just chilling at the beach, you know, bonding with family, friends. A lot more sunny days, a lot less snow. But it, it's all right, I got my puffer. On the island. When you're growing up as a kid, you know, I want to get involved in sports and to trying to get to college. Basketball isn't the usual route. It's usually football. But my dad, man. And suing goes the distance. <laughs> he played at UH for his, his last two years of college at the University of Hawaii. It was always super inspirational to kind of get me to step my foot into that door. Baseline drive, suing! He was an impact right away. Great positional size. He's physical, 6'7", almost 6'8". Used in a lot of different ways at the wing spot, maybe even some point guards and primary ball handling duties, and the ability to guard multiple positions. He impacted us right away, and then we felt his loss last year. With Justice suing, banged up, that's a big question mark for this team. It was like a groin injury. It was frustrating, just especially because I was like right there, then I hit it. I'd, I'd take a step forward, take a couple steps back. It was, it was a constant cycle of that rehabbing, strengthening my body, trying to make sure that it's all ready for the season that's coming up. The first game against Robert Morris, man, just being able to step out onto that floor. Throws it off, Justice Suey! And he's looked good to start, nine points for Suey. It was a lot emotionally, man. I was super excited, but you know, super anxious at the same time, just because it's like, man, I haven't been out here for so long. It felt natural, man, just to finally be out there, not to have a single worry in my mind. Bring me to the beach. It is freezing here. <laughs> yeah, OK. The highlight for me with Justice was seeing him perform on our final day in Maui in front of his family. Justice suing looks like he is back. Rust shaken off. 33 points in this game. Bringing the team to Maui, man. It was, it was really special for a lot of them. You know, a lot of them haven't been there. Being able to expose them to the type of culture, they fell in love with it as soon as they got there. And it was great to be able to show them around. For him to perform well those last couple nights was uh, a really good thing for him and really rewarding for, for a young man who's gone through some tough stuff and to have that moment there in Maui was special. Number 14, Justin Suey. Being named Justice, it's really just to carry yourself as who you are, to stand up for what's right, to be just. That's what I remember my dad explaining to me when I was when I was really young. My father, Otis Lee Sewing Sr., fought in Vietnam. After he came back from the war, he didn't have a feeling like he just went to fight for this country. That feeling of not getting any justice. To come back home and still be called these derogatory things and have different racially motivated things happen to him. I'll tell you a quick story. He told me he was walking by, a family was having a barbecue and, and there was a white family and they stopped him on the street and accused him of stealing something. And in front of the whole picnic, they whipped him with a water hose. Police hog tying him down because some lady said he didn't move out of his way. And he said, since I can't have any justice, they're not giving me any justice, I'll make my own justice. 
I understood why he named me Justice. I'm thankful my father did that. My father, he passed last year. And seeing where his grandson is, he was very happy. He'd call all the time. Hey, man, I saw Justice, and hey, what time is this game? Suing again with the finish. He was very proud of that. Family means everything to me, really. I wouldn't be in the position I am without my family. Travel across the country, man, to come watch me play here. It just shows the amount of love, the amount of belief they have in me. I'm used to seeing him through the TV screen, so being there, it's a lot more energy. I think he can feel us in the crowd. <laughs> 59, the final here in Columbus. Hey, man. Love you. Love you guys. Thanks. <laughs>